Happy lunch hour, gang, albeit a little late, uh, but I have good reason for it. There's some interesting information that's come out here in the last hour that uh, we need to be aware of. We're 36 hours into 2024 at this point, and so far we have seen an earthquake in Japan. We've seen a plane crash, albeit on the tarmac in Japan. Fortunately, 367 people survived as two planes crashed on the runway and planes burst into, into flames. We've seen what's being called a terrorist attack in uh, Rochester, New York, a whopping 50 minutes into the new year. Uh, that was a truck loaded with 12 cans of gasoline. Who the hell has 12 cans of gasoline on a truck running into somebody else? Fortunately, the only two people that died in that one were the two that were the suspected terrorists. But the most important one is what's happened here in the last hour. And this is one we kind of need to pay attention to. In the last hour, uh, Mossad and the IDF have taken out one of the assassinated one of the top three leaders of Hamas, okay? Uh, that would be Selek al -Aruri. And this is going to be interesting because the, as I told you guys a couple of weeks ago about who the financiers were, who the masterminds were of Hamas, they aren't in Gaza, okay? This assassination took place in Lebanon. Now, what does that tell you? First off, we know what's going on with Lebanon's economy. Lebanon is turning into a, another Somalia, basically, if you will. Uh, you know, Beirut is not exactly what you talk about, the place you want to go anymore. Hezbollah has a stronghold. You know, basically, they're based out of Lebanon. But al -Ruri, was assassinated in Lebanon, which tells you that Hamas and the IDF have now infiltrated deep into Hezbollah territory, Hamas territory. Granted, we're talking north and south there, okay. But that they're they're in this one hundred percent. This is not going to be a OG will just, you know, kind of like Biden does, you know, we'll just kind of placate everybody a little bit, you know, take off the low hanging fruit. No, Israel's going for the jugular. And where this gets important to us is what are going to be the repercussions of this? All right. We already know the anti Semitism in the United States is insane at this point with the pro-Palestinian marches in New York and Michigan, you know, God knows how many places, you know, trying to shut down Times Square, Christmas isn't going to happen, right? How many of these people are going to reciprocate, I'm trying to choose my words here again, uh, against the Jewish community, or against the West, all right? Remember, you know, the iranian back Hezbollah here, you know, death to, death to, the, death to America. It's not going to matter. And it's something to be aware, situational awareness, have your head on a swivel, whatever. Pay attention to where you are especially if you live in areas that have a higher Arabic population. Okay? You don't know if somebody is going to say, the hell with it, I'm going to do something. Be careful. Watch what's going on. Watch your, watch your six. Watch your neighbors. Pay attention with spouse, kids, where everybody's going. 
I didn't think we'd see this a day into the new year. We don't know about what the cause of the terrorist attack was, or supposed terrorist attack was in Rochester. We don't know what the revenge that's going to be taken by Hezbollah, by Hamas. Maybe it's all focused in Israel. Maybe it's focused in Europe. Maybe it's all over the world. Okay. This is getting hotter and hotter and hotter. And it's just adding something else to the tensions around the world. Sorry about the noise. Apparently there's a truck going by. But with everything that's going on between Israel and the and Hamas, okay, and Hezbollah by default, with everything that's going on between Russia, Ukraine, with everything that's going on between China, Taiwan, with everything that's going on in the United States and most rest of the countries around the world between leftists and conservatives, uh, things are getting sketchy out there. And hopefully we have people starting to wake up a little bit, you know, those who've been sleepwalking their way through the last three years and realize that things are starting to get tenser and tenser and tenser. And with everything that is scheduled to happen in 2024, we'll just put it that way, tensions are going to be at an all-time high. And people are going to start to lose it. You know it, I know it, everybody does. You know, we are at a point in the world where we have two diametrically opposite viewpoints, and neither side is willing to live under the other side's rule, I guess, if you will. Liberals want everything that is completely immoral, insane, and illegal as the normal way of life. Conservatives have a tendency more for peace. Liberals don't want to live under peace. All that means is we need to be ready for when they bring it to us because they're going to. Everybody around the world seems to believe that their way is the only way. There is no worldwide melting pot. This idiotic idea of globalism will never work. Okay. The world, the people of the world have never got all gotten together, gotten along together in history, but somehow Klaus Schwab is going to manage to do that now, right? Well, the only way they can do it now is dictatorial. And the people of the world aren't going to put up with that. You have a lot of jockeying for position right now between every different group out there who wants to domineer with their mindset. You know where you stand. It may be in the same place I do. It may be somewhere different. Okay? But you're going to have to stand. and. The hard part to realize is you're going to have to accept how far you will go to maintain life the way you want it. What happened here an hour ago could change the course of the world. I mean, remember World War I started with the assassination of the Archduke Ferdinand, right? Okay. World War III may start similar. Don't know if this is it, but I will tell you this, in my personal opinion, this ain't the last assassination we're going to see on planet Earth in 2024. And well out.